All right, guys, we are at a place called Cast Iron Kitchen for breakfast. Let's start our day eating some delicious food. specials over there and grilled brioche french toast is probably speaking to me but we're gonna see but everything looks so good and it's really cute in here very homey so they serve your drinks in mason jars yeah. Yeah. Fun. so i've ordered my food and i got the chicken and waffles and they have these crispy thin waffles beautiful these are actually chicken tenders so they're boneless and it comes with a hot honey syrup which i'm super excited about fresh fruit and they put a little bit of granola on there so i'm excited to dig into that We are done with cast iron kitchen and wow that was delicious that um, actually was a feature on diners drive-ins and dives with guy fieri so i showed a little bit of some plates and some things that they have in there from the actual visit the guy did and i can see why he came here it was absolutely delicious they are win best brunch in wilmington a lot uh, there's a lot of awards on the walls for that and i can see why it's delicious so we're actually heading to carolina beach today and we are going to explore and kind of deep dive into the history of Carolina Beach and maybe stick our toes in the sand again. We're gonna see. Again, it is a very windy day, but we have made it down to the boardwalk at Carolina Beach, which is famous for a little thing I like to call the best donuts in the world. They're not open because they're only open seasonally, um, but there has been four to five hour waits for these delicious donuts. And we're going to take a walk on the pier but I just wanted to show you the boardwalk because normally in season it is hopping and a great place to go. They got pizza, they have arcades, they have everything, shops, whatnot. So come down to the boardwalk when it's in season and uh, get some donuts, cash only, why not? Here is Brit's Donuts. It is literally a two garage situation. They open the garage doors. There is a bar top in there and you walk up, you order, pay cash only glazed donuts. They got milk and coffee and you're good to go. But this line normally goes all the way back there. There are people surfing out here. And then if I pan over this way, there's people kayaking and it's freezing out here, guys. But it is so beautiful. It's usually Carolina Beach is hopping. Um, but as you can tell, locals obviously still come down here and do recreational things. But there's only live music, they have fireworks during the summer, everything like that, but it is January. But I think seeing something in the quiet and in the beauty of off season is really nice. When you do come down here, keep in mind that um, parking does normally cost, unless you can find a place that the meter is covered up. Um, parking normally costs hourly and then it like caps off at a particular time. I haven't paid for parking in a long time, so I can't really tell you how much it is, but just be aware of that. If you do have a car and you're coming down here to park, it does cost a little bit. You can always Uber, um, Lyft, everything like that, do ride share and come down here and hang out, but parking does cost money. It's become an extremely windy day, but we are stopping at lunch at Flaming Amy's Burrito Barn, one of the top burritos in the country. And it's been a hot minute since I've been here, so we're gonna go in and eat some delicious, delicious food. So we ordered and we got chips and guac and queso, and then I also got a chicken burrito, and this thing is huge, as you can see. Guys, we have made it to dinner. We're actually going to a place called Junction 421. It's a little outside of Car uh, Carolina Beach in a place called Monkey Junction, the area, and we've never been here before, so we're gonna give it a shot. So I ordered an appetizer and I ordered a warm pretzel and it comes with beer cheese. And if you know anything about me, I love beer cheese and pretzels. And it also came with cinnamon butter. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. Look how good this looks. And it is 
hot. And I got a pulled pork sandwich, and it is absolutely massive. It came with an onion ring, barbecue sauce, and these fries are so good. All right, guys, we are back at the house. Junction 421, I think I would like to go back, but I don't want to recommend it right now. Um, I would like to try some other things. They had some a really vast menu that I would like to try different little things, but our service, uh, Joey was our server and he was absolutely fabulous. So if you do go to Junction 421, see if Joey is there because he was so great. Um, the french fries were great. They were double fried, which is stellar. And I think that they're still kind of a newer restaurant, not super new, but still a little bit. So I think they're still learning their curves and I would like to try different items. But overall, I think it was like a six out of 10. Um, I didn't get dessert, I was so full. The warm pretzel that I got with beer cheese was fantastic. That was absolutely great. But um, yeah, so it was a great day. We did a lot of things and we are back at the house. I'm so tired. We're probably gonna watch a movie, snuggle, um, and kind of chill out for our big day tomorrow, which you will see on Tuesday. I'm super excited. I haven't been to Wrightsville Beach in so long. Um, and I, it's so beautiful down there with the marina and the beach and just like an old town of of beach town it's so great so i'm so happy to be back in a town that i love in wilmington and so thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you really enjoyed this i hope you don't come down to here um to the coast of north carolina because it is a really beautiful place so until next time guys be beautiful humans bye